Hello, Brian from Crooked Path TV here. As some people may know, the new Vex 40 and 72 2 piece no longer sell those variants. So, fortunately, you can basically make your own. So, this is, after a lot of testing, I'm going to teach you how to turn this gear into a gear like this, as you can. Firstly, here's what you need. Well, obviously, the gear that you're going to be drilling, you're going to be lading. You need a, you need a brown round insert, you need two washers, and you need a star screw so you can tighten it really hard. And lastly, you need a standout that's probably one inch long. So, firstly, you'll want to be able to mount the gear onto the lathe. To do this, quite literally, so sandwich the gear on two, with two washers and then just center the, center the screw using the bronze insert. And then lastly, cap the other side using standoffs. I'll come back once I'm done with this because I only have two hands. Alright, once you're done it should look like this. Make sure you tighten it really hard using the big ball and screwdrivers. Then you simply just want to mount it, just tighten the clutch onto the standoff. Make sure this is balanced and then just tighten. Should be pretty easy. Obviously, tighten hard so it's not gonna like fall apart mid operation. Go ahead and close the tour box so you don't kill yourself. And then now you'll wanna start operating the lathe. Firstly, you wanna use number eight, the parting tool, to, use, to, to, to operate to achieve this. And then let's just move this out. We wanna first zero the tour box. To do this, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for the most stupid method possible, aka I will just basically you wanna you wanna you wanna zero Z, just move Z inside just enough to hear a bit of sound of the parting tool scraping the gear. Let's see. Yep. Now you can hear you just part, just move it move it to the left until you can hear the sound. Stop the lathe and then just zero it. Move the lathe out, and then you'll want to basically shift to where you want to cut. If you're trying to cut this thing down to a half inch, you'll want to cut one lathe on either side. In this case, I'll recommend moving it to the left by 0.124 inches, leaving a thou of tolerance. I'll just quickly do that. Zero. And then just start the lathe and then get cutting. You'll want to you'll want to use the analog wheel for a consistent speed so that you're not going to have a lot of residues left. Just go down to the second stage speed and just want to cut. You can go you can go faster you can go faster once you get past the first stage. Basically like the thick part of the gear. And then just go through. Now once you get near the end, you'll want to basically get out once you see the end round out. Once you're done, just stop the lathe and you can see the result. There. And the gear is shaved. You can probably go a little bit more. I'll just quickly do that and I'll show the end results. Alright, you can see the ends are shaved. Then you simply just want to repeat the same process on the other side. So just flip the screws and then mount it. And then I'll show the end results again. All right, and here's the end result. As you can see, just shaved half inch and the cord is still intact, so you can see you'll use any inserts. Now to some final touches. You can see how there's gonna be some of these residues on the gear that's remained. You kind of want to just, I will recommend just cleaning them off with your hand, with a file probably. If you see these, just if you see them within the gear teeth, you want to just kind of like get it out and then file it. You can also just use a sandblaster that'll clean off everything pretty easily, but do note that the gear will lose color. And that's all for today.